Abu Bakar Jawara and his brother Haji, who is Gambia's Consul General in Angola, were last Thursday received by Police Operations Commander Landim Bujang at the Sanyang Police Station ahead of the businessman's plan to rebuild the destroyed police station. The people of Sanyang reached out to Jawara after the police station was set on fire on Monday amid violent protests that rocked Sanyang. The businessman then volunteered to build back the facility. When the event happened, uh, I, I am the one that contact Jawara, that uh, we had a sad incident that happened in our community. The police station responded to us and we are seeking for help to institutions, personnel, individual to assist us in doing so. So when I contacted him, he told me that uh, he will personally take the responsibility to take care of the station and uh, tomorrow uh, it's like today I spoke to him about the incident and he told me that tomorrow I'll send my team uh, to see what had happened and he do that by sending uh, the team to come and so look uh, at the place and they reported to him and I called and said your team had visit uh, the station and he told me that uh, Okay, I will contact the police. I'll go to the IGP. Uh, the deputy is there. I will talk to him to to give him to tell him what I want to do. And he did that. And from there, he called me and said, "Tomorrow I will be here to do the presentation." Speaking to reporters, Jawara said helping law enforcement was in the DNA of his family since it started with his father. This is not first time we are doing this kind of things. It starts from my father. When you think, when you see Bagadaji police station, my father was paying rent more than 20 years before new police station has built in Bagadaji. I think uh, whoever passed that police station, they will hear this interview. They will they will tell tell me through. Is my uh, late father, Alaj Bajija Jawara, was was paying that uh, police station. He was renting there more than 20 years. So from there. Uh, we also, you know, built recently PIU station in Base. It's already finished. Just to hand over to the PIU, and uh, we wanted to hand over this uh, Saturday coming. But uh, IG let Mamul Job, Alhaj let Mamul Job, Ma Allah uh, give him Jannat al Firdaus. He already passed away. So that case, we cannot do anything until we have further notice. So this is uh, it's not new for us. This is uh, you know we just came and then sympathize with the community, and also we can do what we can do, you know. So it's not like uh, we have activity here. It's not like uh, any interest. It's just uh, good Gambians. We are Gambians, and then we to think, and then we can do what we can do. Police Assistant Inspector General responsible for operations Landim Bojang speaking to reporters said Jawara had been a long-standing partner of the police. Mr. Jawara is long been our partner, not today. In Basse, he's creating an accommodation for the police and elsewhere. Maybe with Sanyang people, Sanyang will think is this the force, what they've long been doing for the police. And then Gambian people should come and imitate him. Well, whatever one does in your own country, you did for everybody. And look what he's building here. People who are going to use it are not going to be him, neither his family. But if it's for the security of Sinai, people here. So like what this gentleman said, he's right. Gambians, we need to come together. Jawara's elder brother Haji also spoke to reporters where he asked Gambians to respect law enforcement officers. Today I'm very happy with my brother. My brother gave me full respect since I took him to Kinshasa to Angola and he was doing his business from there also and go to China and he was related to the Angolan government also and he do a lot of things in Angola. Today we are here, we are happy, we are struggling, but operation, no compromise. We cannot accept those people who are coming here to disrespect, to disrespect our police. This cannot for we cannot tolerate, tolerate for that one, because without police, we cannot do anything. 
the police is more important in the country. We should respect our police, our government. It's just like a GI, government is to do this, you have to do that one. So they can't come to the police station and set the fire there. After that one, what they gaining? They have run away, that is bad attitude. So we cannot accept that one. My sympathy to those people who have passed away here, Mr. Sirifo. May Allah sanctify his soul and rest in peace. Jibril, may Allah sanctify his soul to rest in peace. We are Gambians, one nation. We don't want any violence. We want people to respect our government, to respect our immigration, to respect our police. And this gentleman has this advice for Gambians. I think it's important for we the Gambians to come together and unite because we are the future, particularly we the young ones, are the future generation. Like you and others, you have done your quarters. Mr. Jawara and others, they have done their quarters. All the good things they are doing is for us, for our children coming in the future. So as you said, I want to emphasize that people should not take law in their own hands. We should come together, work hard, and make sure that we develop our country. Because this man, Mr. Jawara, is digging from his pocket to develop for the people of Sanyang and the people of Gambia at large. So people like him is better with the young one generation should learn example from the good things they are doing and give them their due respect. Because someone who is digging from his pocket to help the whole Gambia, this uh, station doesn't belong to Sanya, it belongs to the Gambia. So people like him and the police officers, we should give them their respect. Because without this, uh, the officers, we cannot be sleeping in our house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jawara was in Sanyang together with the constructor of a project that will cost $2.2 million. The Jawaras also gave $15,000 to the families of the slain Jibril Sisi. Fatu Kamara reporting for the Fat Network News Review.